let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus <laughs> in the neighborhood, surfing on a sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate an nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. Good morning, my fellow walker. As I am sure you all know, <laughs> I am Ashley Walker Club Dupree, great granddaughter of our town's fearless founder, Captain Krasnick P. Walker Esquire. Welcome to the 100th anniversary of Walkerville's proud existence. To celebrate this momentous occasion, a sculptor of Captain Walker is... Uh, <laughs> On its way. <laughs> it was sculpted by our contest winner, Arnold Pearlstein, and his fellow students in Ms. Frizzle's class. But this is no ordinary sculptor, no, 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 indeed. In fact, nothing about my great grandfather was ordinary. <clears throat> in his will, he left specific instructions as to the manner in which this monument must be built. They read as follows, and I quote, A statue formed without human hand, shaped and scraped like our vast changing land, bumped and thumped by wedges and blows. <gasps> the artist will chisel my face as it flows. Great, you knocked off Captain Walker's ear. I was trying to give him a mouth. Man, this is hard work. It sure would be a lot easier if we could use our hands to carve it. He's going back. Back. And he snags it. A terrific catch, folks. Aren't you guys finished yet? We're supposed to be down at the ceremony now. Our parents are all there, not to mention Mrs. Walker Club Dupree. Well, I'd like to see Mrs. Walker Club Dupree go any faster, Arnold. It's freezing up here. Uh, give me a break, guys. My reputation as a rock expert is at stake. I guaranteed the committee we could do it. But this is ridiculous, Arnold. Whoever heard of carving rock without using your hands? Don't worry. You're doing great. The statue looks just like Captain Walker. Sort of. No matter. This statue will last forever. A monument to our hard work and ingenuity. <gasps> I don't mean to shatter your mood, Arnold, but nothing is forever. Miss Frizzle! Not even rock. No way! I know rock. And rock is permanent. And I know water, Arnold, and this is ice. <laughs> Very ice indeed. So a little water's gotten in the crack and frozen. What's the big deal? Water can't break rock. Is it just me, or is the statue moving? It is indeed, Ralphie. See? Yikes! The ice is splitting the rock! Ah, the statue's breaking away from the mountain! Precisely! Captain Walker! He's going to get smashed to smithereens! Looks like Captain Walker's going to get to the ceremony before we do! 
Yes, well, while we're waiting for our statue, let me tell you more about my great grandfather. Ah, here we go. Rocks. My great grandfather loved rocks. He was fascinated that they came in so many different shapes and sizes. Yes, rocks and poetry were his passion. As a matter of fact, his first home was built with field stone. The road to the house was paved with cobblestone. The cornerstone of the field stone was limestone. Oh no, our statue! Well, I guess we won't be leaving this place as we found it. When Captain Walker made a break for it, he took a whole bunch of other rocks with him. Come on! We've got to save the statue! Or what's left of it. My sediments, exactly. To the bus! Single file, please! I don't know, Miss Frizzle. I don't think this bus can make it down the mountain. You're right, Arnold. Perhaps we ought to be a little bolder. What? Seatbelts, everyone! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> There's Captain Walker! I see him! Does that mean we can stop? If we stop, we'll get smashed by the rocks coming down behind us! Just like Captain Walker did! <laughs> A bang up observation, Dorothy Ann! We'll make changes in the mountain when we stop. We'll make changes in the mountain when we stop. Ah, perfect. A nice little rock pile in just the right place. Come on, we've got to get Captain Walker. At least he's still got his hat. No wonder. No wonder what? Wonder was his horse, remember? And now there's no wonder. We've lost half the statue! Who'd have thought a little frozen water could have started such a rock slide? Well, as my great uncle Boulder Dash used to say, never take anything for granted. Well, we better get what's left of Captain Walker onto the bus before we can still tell who he is. Uh-oh. The water's washing the dirt out from under the statue. I can't believe it. The water's doing it again. Liz, do something. Stop him. Oh, no. There goes his other arm. Wow, the water's really strong. It's knocking the statue against the other rocks. <gasps> This way, Liz! I have an idea! When I say three, grab it. One, two, three! Chase, it's awfully rough out there. As my third cousin Rocky used to say, Yo, when the water gets rough, the tough will get in the water. Come on, bus! Do your stuff! Follow that statue! Oh, no! Oh, yes! While we await the arrival of Arnold, and his class, whom I'm sure will be here any moment. <laughs> Let me tell you one of Captain Walker's favorite rock rock jokes. Rock rock, who's there? Like a, like a who? Like a rolling stone! 
stone? <laughs> like a rolling stone? Hmm. I feel like I'm in a food processor. Rock processor is more like it. Anybody see Captain Walker? I just keep seeing my feet. Tumbling, bouncing, tossing, and turning. Oh, don't you just love it, Ralphie? We're rock and we're rolling. And I'm getting sick. We've stopped. What a relief. You call hanging upside down a relief? What's happening? That's better. Better? What's better about it? We're supposed to be at the most important ceremony Walkerville has ever had with the statue we were supposed to have made, and where are we? Stuck at the bottom of a stream with no statue, getting pushed around by... by what? Water! That's what! Soft, runny water! Oh, but what better place to study erosion by water? <gasps> Water erosion? According to my research, water erosion is what happens when rocks get worn away by water. That's what happened to Captain Walker. He's been eroding. You got that right, Arn. We slept with Captain Walker at 12 o'clock. You sure that's him? His nose is almost gone. You know what they say, no nose is good nose. Carlos! I can't believe that water could do all that. To solid rock. Just ask Captain Walker. If we don't get him soon, Captain Walker will be Captain Gravel. And we'll be Kid Gravel. Oh, what can we do? We're stuck. Nothing a little push can't fix. Prepare to disembark. But Miss Frizzle, if we go out there, we'll be swept away by the water. We'll be hammered. We'll be gouged. We'll be scratched. Exactly, Ralphie. I couldn't have said it better myself. And going out there is the only way to save Captain Walker. I'm glad you agree, Arnold. Cool suits. Yeah, I always wanted to be a rock star. Carlos! Miss Frizzle, are you sure this is the only way to get Captain Walker? No, but it's the only way to take chances, make mistakes, and get eroded. I think I'm the one that should have stayed home today. Here we go! <laughs> Ready, Liz? Leave no stone unturned. so strong, I can feel the gravel smashing against me. It's wearing away my rock suit. At my old school, we weren't allowed to get eroded. Look, look, look! There's Captain Walker! Okay, we've got the statue. We can go to the ceremony now. Not so fast, Arn. Look out! I've been in some tough scrapes before, but this is ridiculous! Yeah, we're on the road to ruin! Hey, good one, DA! Phew, it's good to have a rest! Ooh, you said it! Being eroded takes a lot out of you! Smooth thinking, Wanda! Real smooth! Hey, Arn! Doesn't a rolling stone ever stop? Ooh. No! Anybody see Captain Walker? No, but I do see that. Is it just me, or are we about to get pulverized?
into our rock suits. All the sand and gravel rubbed us smooth. And made our suits smaller. All because the water tumbled us and pushed us along the bottom of the stream. And the same thing's happening to Captain Walker. Soon there won't be anything left. We've got to save him. Where is he? Bottoms up. <laughs> At last, the water's slowing down. And we're not being tossed around anymore. There aren't as many big rocks around either. I'm not surprised. No self-respecting rock has a chance. Once it's fallen down a mountain, plunged over a waterfall, and been tumbled and pushed along the bottom of a stream. Oh, and it's all because of water. Who would have believed it? Look! All the rocks that slid down the mountain have dammed up the stream. And it stopped Captain Walker! Hurry! There's still a chance! Yeah, if we want to go bowling. Gee, feel how smooth his head is. At least, I think it's his head. It's not surprising since he's been given the sandpaper treatment. Make that sand water treatment. Oh, it's what my old Aunt Bedrock used to call the power of water. Hold on, Captain. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got you. What would Aunt Bedrock call this? A disaster. Hey, isn't that Captain Walker's horse? Looks like he reached the end of the line. Yep, a sad tale indeed. Oh, what are we going? Tell the people at the ceremony. I don't know, but we'd better think of something fast. They're right below us. Oh, dear. I I'm sure they'll be here momentarily. I in the meantime, here's another rock joke. What is a boulder's favorite music? Rock and roll. Oh, oh I get it. Rock and roll. Oh no! People are leaving! Wait for us! We're coming! Oh, we've got to get down there! Yeah, what are we going to do? Break open the dam and let the water wash us down to the ceremony? <laughs> As if. Oh, why, Keisha, that's a smashing idea. It is? Like icing on a cake. That's it! We never have the ice made the statue break away from the mountain in the first place? An earth-shattering recollection, Arnold. So all we have to do is get water into a crack in the dam. Like this crack here. Okay, okay. But how do we turn it into ice? Huh, why, with the frizzle freeze. Hit it, Liz! <laughs> Disappoint them, Arnold. Come on, come on up. Come on up, young man. Don't be shy. Well, um, a funny thing happened on the way down the mountain. We see that. 
don't we? As we all know, my great-grandfather requested that his monument be... Oh, yes, formed without human hand, shaped and scraped like our vast changing land. We tried to do that. We really did, honest. Bumped and thumped by wedges and blows, the artist will chisel my face as it flows. It got bumped and thumped all right, but I can explain. No need. It's magnificent. It is? A work of art on a grand scale. Captain Walker would be exceedingly proud. Well, what do you know? But we didn't do that. Exactly. <clears throat> Bumped and thumped by wedges and blows, the artist will chisel my face as it flows. That's it. As it flows. As what flows? Water. You mean the poem wasn't about not using our hands? No. It was about erosion by water. Arnold, I'm sure everyone would love to hear just how you did it. But we didn't do it. Water did. Water eroded the rocks and carved the mountain to look like Captain Walker. Not us. The hair was formed when ice cracked the rock connecting the statue to the mountain, and the statue fell. The stream, which has carved a path down the mountain, is the outline of the face. And the nose and eyes are really rock piles which were pushed there by the water in the stream. The only thing we did is the beard. That happened when we cracked open the dam, causing the flood which brought us down here. But still, water did all the work. As he looks out at us today, Captain Walker is a symbol of the power of water, which, I must admit, is actually stronger than rock. But tomorrow, who knows which way the captain will be looking. For as Miss Frizzle might say, erosion is everything it's cracked up to be. Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. Magic the magic school bus. 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 I want to play magic school bus. I want the magic school bus. I'm sorry, but it was not in my contract to be deluged. I do not do disaster movies. I know, I know, but we had to show how a flood can sculpt the landscape. Well, next time, show it in someone else's scene. Would you like some iced tea? <sighs> Hello, Magic School Bus. Producer speaking. You know, I didn't believe that part about the frozen water expanding so much you could break something as hard as a rock apart, so I tried it myself. You did? What did you do? First, my mom and I found a glass jar with a screw-on lid. Then we filled it completely full of water and screwed on the lid. Then we wrapped it in a heavy plastic bag and put it in the freezer overnight. And what happened? The next day, the jar was broken. The water inside it expanded as it froze and broke the jar, just like the ice broke apart the rock. Well, that's a pretty sharp experiment. Thanks for passing it on. My pleasure. Bye. Liz, you need to freeze the water. It won't freeze in a cupboard. I don't believe that water can really push big rocks and boulders around the way you showed. Well, the water just has to move fast enough to roll and bounce the rocks, not lift them up. Go find a fast-moving stream. You'll be amazed at how big the rocks are that the flood's pushed aside. I'll do that. Bye. Liz, it'll take more than a few pieces of ice to freeze that water. Hi. I know floods and landslides happen quickly, but most erosion takes a long, long time, doesn't it? You're right. The bigger the erosion, the longer it takes. For instance, it took water more than 15 million years to carve out the Grand Canyon. About as long as it's going to take you to freeze that water. Water made the Grand Canyon? You bet. It made it grand. <laughs> What was that? Good thing you put it in the plastic bag. How'd you do that? I know, you didn't break the glass, water did. But how did you freeze the water so fast? Surfing on a sine wave, 
It's a wild ride. 